Hello, welcome to sql02pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'll talk about the concept of null. Concept of null is a very important part of relational theory and relational databases. It's important that you understand this concept properly. Okay, so what is null? So null indicates nothingness. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so when is null value used? Null is used when information is not available or it's not applicable. Okay, so if information is not available, then we don't simply just enter zero or or n a or or you know something like that as we usually do in bookkeeping, right? But uh, we enter null value. All right. So now, how do we enter null value? The first syntax is this: instead of a value, you just use the word keyword null. Okay. So insert into the table name values. Well, let's say this table has three columns because number of values has to match with the number of columns. The value one will go in column one, value two in, will go in column two using this syntax, okay? So column one would take value one, column two would take value two, and column three would take null. All right, so let's see what, what are we talking about here by doing some examples. So I'm just logging in, going to SQL, SQL commands. So let's see what we have in our table uh, employee I guess that was a table we created last time okay so <coughs> so this is the data we have let's say we just uh, hired a new employee okay so we need to enter a new record insert into employee values Okay, so uh, let's say the, of course, the ID would be six, and let's say name is Aisha Hassan of the new employee, and uh, her salary is let's say nine hundred dollars, and department is ten, and let's say the new employee doesn't have the previous salary because maybe the employee wasn't there last year. Okay. So in, in this case, what are we going to do? Should we enter zero or should we enter null? We have to enter null because zero means the salary was zero last year. Okay. And, uh, you know, null means either the information is not available or it's not, or it's not applicable. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter null. So null you enter without single quotes. It's not in quotes because this is not a text or string value null is a keyword telling oracle that we want to put null here okay so let's try inserting this record control enter one row inserted select star from employee control enter so see like this query tool that we are using uh, oracle express query tool is uh, it, this query tool is displaying dash wherever it's finding null that doesn't mean dash is sitting in, in this column for this record okay dash is simply uh, the property of this query tool if you, maybe if you do the same query in, in toad or some other query tool you won't see dash so uh, this understands we just inserted null here okay so that's the first syntax let's go back to the presentation another way of null is uh, inserting null is this you can use like quotes, uh, dub, uh, two single quotes, okay? So that means we are simply inserting a null value. So let me delete this record, delete from employee where ID is equal to six, one row deleted, select star from employee, control enter, see I, uh, the record number six is no more there. Let's insert the record number six again with oh, single quotes. It has to be proper single quotes like this. Okay, single quote usually sits on the same key as double quotes in English keyboard. Okay. Now run this statement. One row inserted, select star from employee. Okay, again we got null here. Alright. So but usually you should use the word null instead of double uh, two single quotes, okay, in order to avoid confusions. And now the last syntax we're gonna take a look at is this. This is another uh, version of insert statement. In this insert state statement, we are basically specifying the columns in which the values will go.